That doesn't just apply to the clothes they wear or the cars they drive. Lust affects how men act in every way. Consider artistic creativity. This painting may not provoke lust, but it may have been inspired by it in one of the 20th century's most famous artists. If you take a careful look at Picasso's career, you see he goes from blue period to rose period to cubist period. And what you see is behind every single one of those transitions is a brand new woman, a new muse, who inspires him to change a style. So from Pablo Picasso to Salvador Dali to all these great artists, over and over again, there appears to be this muse who inspires them to their artistic greatness. Can lust drive any man to artistic heights? Forget about Pablo Picasso. How about Pete from Pittsburgh? Vlad has engineered another social experiment to see if he can bring out the inner artist in a bunch of guys who haven't painted since they were in the fifth grade. We're separating him to two different groups. One group of men will be just sitting by themselves at first, not interacting with anyone. After a few minutes in a rather uninspiring waiting room, each man heads in to meet Vlad. Hi, my name is Vlad. Hey, I'm Jason. Nice Jason, to meet you. you have a Hi, seat boys. right over here. So Vlad explains to the men that they're to draw for five minutes. We're just express who you are, what you're about on this blank canvas. All right, well, I'll be back in about five minutes. This is challenging. Right. That's looking excellent. That was five minutes? Yeah, that looks fantastic. Don't worry, that's what people do when they have about five minutes. He's just being nice. Picasso's kindergarten paintings were probably better than these. But now Vlad triggers the second and sexier part of his creativity experiment. This time, there will be a muse in the waiting room. Does lust make men more creative? One group of men tried their hand at sketching after sitting alone in a waiting room. Now, a second group is standing by. This time, they'll have some company while they wait. The charming and desirable Kate. So the major purpose of we want you to accomplish in here is when that guy leaves the room and is walking down the hallway, even though he's no longer physically in here, mentally, he's still in here. He cannot get you out of his mind. <laughs> Lights and cameras are readjusted. Kate preps her fake workplace, and Vlad cues the next set of male subjects. Lucky subjects. What's your name? I'm Kate. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. Awesome. <laughs> it's a novel about no child left behind. I would be really interested to read that. So what kind of music do you play? Old hardcore punk. Oh, that's really cool. It doesn't take a scientist to guess that it's more stimulating <laughs> to hang out with Kate than sitting by yourself in an empty room. It was a pleasure meeting you. Yeah, it was you. nice meeting you. Have a good one. You too. But will Kate change the way they handle their pastels? Hi. Hi. I'm John Bonavia. John, nice to meet you. Fantastic. Have a seat right here. How you doing? What am I good. about to paint? Vlad, like the impaler. That's right. This is great. Let me tell you a little bit about what we're doing here today. Yes. I mean, I love girls. It's kind of like all I think about. <laughs> the second group of men who came in after the mating crime was enacted, they were like little peacocks. They just wanted to sprout those tails and just put it everything on a piece of paper. So are the effects of lust on creativity scientifically significant? Painter and art instructor Dave LeBeau will judge the quality of the sketches to see if, as a whole, one group was noticeably more creative than the other. So we line them up where one row is drawings by people who interacted with a muse, and another row is by men who did not have a muse, who just waited in a room by themselves. Now, do you think you would be able to tell 
Which row was the Muse row? For sure, I would say this top row has a much more, I mean, in all, this is a complete row here, has much more energy. They're all much more expressive than this bottom row, for sure. I mean, look at the agitation. And that agitation came from the group that hung out with Kate. Our ancestors are the men that did become more creative around women, whereas those ones who didn't are no longer our ancestors. Lust makes